<laughs> Hello. Titan, Titan. There we go. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? Hello. So chicken poop. Yeah, I just called it chicken poop because I got pooped on. It's not an exciting story. I just got pooped on. So there you go. I wasn't sure what else to call it because no names. But when I sat down to get this stream going, it was 101 and people were already in chat being like, what happened to her? Did the car die? Is she napping? And I was like, it's I'm one minute late. <laughs> you know who you are. Offline gang is restless. <laughs> Us? Well, the daylight savings were now we're now all on the same page. It was just a week difference, so everybody else, I believe swapped over yesterday so 15 minutes late no teacher um if you want to go that bad you can <laughs> you don't no one's forcing you to be here this ain't class <clears throat> coffee in a can yeah i was out a lot this morning so i got a meal deal with a jimmy's iced coffee Trying to decide if I want a second, a second bobby pin, but I think it's fine. Meal deals are the greatest thing in England. Yo, you can get a good deal. I got an egg and crest sandwich with some crisps and the Jimmy's iced coffee. Three Bucky. <sighs> Why is daylight saving so complicated? I don't know. I am as far from being involved in changing that as possible so i'm excited to see you play dog shelter simulator yeah steam has been like hey this seems like a game you might enjoy i'm like hmm how did you know There's a market for every time of simulator. I don't normally gravitate towards simulators, but this one, um, one of the main pictures is you just petting the dogs. So, you know, I figure seems on brand. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Sure. Sounds good. Gas station simulator? Amazing. Maybe amazing is the wrong word, but amazing. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I was so excited to go and pick up. I got, um, well, I got our duvets cleaned. Um, 
and I got a text being like, your duvets are all washed, and I was so excited to go and pick them up. And I got home. I did our I did our duvets and I did like all all of the sheets and things because um there have just been a lot of accidents in this house. If you have a toddler, if you know, you know. And so I was like, this is just so much bedding to wash. I'm just gonna take it all. And if I'm getting the duvets cleaned anyway, I'm just gonna also get these cleaned. So I got a text saying, hey, it's all done. I went to pick it up, brought it home and realized that our, our main duvet for like our bed was not in there. <laughs> I was like, no, it's fine. A random question, did you ever go to college and think about pursuing a career in that field? If so, what did you do? Uh, yeah, I have a degree in theater. Um, I went in planning to do acting uh, and I got into the Bachelor of Fine Arts program for acting and then realized that um, acting wasn't really my passion as much as I love the attention. <laughs> uh, that I actually really, really loved more of the crafting side of it and making props and making costume crafts and um, hats, armor, weapons, all that kind of stuff. That's what was really, really fun for me. So I got my degree in, um, yeah, in like stagecraft stuff. And uh, at the time that I started my YouTube channel, I was about to apply for a fellowship program in Ohio, learning how to make armor and weapons um, for like high budget stage stuff and film and uh, did this instead. No regrets. <laughs> Every time I say that people from Ohio were like, you made the right call. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's, that's what I was doing in college. Thanks. Yeah, it was very fun. <clears throat> Back when I started my YouTube channel, there might there might be a couple of you who were with me when I first started my YouTube channel. But um back when I first started it, the plan was that I was going to do gaming news and then at the time there Nobody was doing like, not nobody, but I couldn't find anyone doing uh, like cosplay stuff, costumes, like, um, you know, like nerdy or like geeky projects or anything like that. And so I was like, I want that to be the other thing that my channel does is that I, I make like weapons from games and stuff like that. And I never... I never like fully pursued that just because it's a lot of work and a lot of supplies. And at the time I didn't have the money to buy the supplies. So I was like, ah, it's a future idea. And then so many people started doing that way better than I ever could. So I was like, never mind. <laughs> but that's what I originally wanted my YouTube channel to be. You know, a lot of that sort of knowledge, if you don't use it, you lose it. A lot of like the the knowledge about what materials to use and how to work with them and all of that kind of stuff, I haven't used in over 10 years. So I don't, I don't really, uh, I don't really think that I could do any of that stuff anymore. Not without a lot of help and guidance, you know. Yeah, that's also true. At the um, at the time that I was doing costumes and props and all of that, um, Warbler who, <laughs> right? Like if you watch if you watch costuming stuff and and like cosplay and all of that, people use Warbler all the time. I had no like 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 Thermocraft sort of stuff, stuff that, like like heat based 
moldable materials those existed, but like not as easy to get as as it is now, you know. <clears throat> what tips would you give a beginner streamer? Um, decide what kind of a community and a and a stream space you want to have early so that you can uh knock down stuff that isn't okay right off the bat to build the community in, in a way that is going to make it so that you are comfortable and happy when you're streaming and that chat is a comfortable, happy place. Um, and also to play stuff that makes you happy. Don't play stuff just because it's popular. That There's always like the, the draw to do that, to like get a bunch of people. But if you're not having fun, people are gonna be able to tell. And streaming, I think more than a lot of other jobs, you need to be able to um, maintain energy and the way to maintain energy is to actually be having fun and enjoying yourself. Uh, if you're playing something you don't like, it's going to be draining on you and you're going to be more negative and it's not going to be as fun to watch. So, um, yeah, play thing, play stuff you enjoy or do things that you like, uh, so that you're having fun and, um, and, decide kind of like generally what your what your rules and your vibe should be on your stream early turn off the viewer count yeah there's there's all kinds of analytics that i don't look at because you it's easy to obsess over them so whatever that is for you yeah that can also be helpful to like keep you in the moment and not worrying about stuff <clears throat> yeah, I hope that's helpful at all. <laughs> I love your shirt. Thank you. I wore this around my father-in-law a while back and he was like, oh, I didn't know you had a shirt with me on it. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> My father-in-law is bald, so he was like, I know that guy. <laughs> Want them up. Does he one punch? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him punch anything, but he used to be a bodybuilder, so he's probably got a pretty mean punch on him. was a bodybuilder yes yeah oh call I hope things are looking up for you word keep seeing you walk by. You want to say hello? <laughs> Imagine Clegg's future as a bodybuilder. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. 
seriously, both of my cats, every time they come in and I'm like, they're here to say hi. They always know right where to stand. They like, it's, they're always right where the microphone is or right behind my chair. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why can't you just, why can't you just go right there? <laughs> Yeah, my big, so I have a big like corduroy jacket that I've had for years, years and years and years. Um, and it's what I've been throwing on every time I go to do the chickens. And when I like change Berkey's foot and everything. And uh, <clears throat> it finally happened. Berkey finally pooped on me and pooped all over that jacket. And I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's time for this to be washed, so. <laughs> Oh my God, if I tried to set up a like kitty cam, if I set up a space for the cats to go to with a camera on it, I guarantee you it would always be empty. There would never be a cat there, ever. <laughs> never, ever. Tape a camera to a pair of socks, oh my god. <laughs> Sock cam. That's pretty funny. Did she leave? Goodness. I have been in such a like, I'm basically only thinking about D&D &D today. I had so many things to do this morning. I basically just got home. I've been out all morning and all morning, every time I was in the car, I was just thinking about D&D &D characters that I want to play. And I was describing them to Joe. I messaged Joe in the middle of the set, in the middle of Godforge yesterday being like, by the way, remind me <laughs> to tell you about my, about my character ideas that I've been like kicking around. And he was like, okay. So I was talking with him last night about like all of these characters that I've like quasi built. And he was like, man, all of these sound really fun. Like what are, what games are these for? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, Joe. And he was like, well, uh, if, if, you know, you manage to, if, if we wind up being in a campaign again and I'm your DM, I, any of these characters sound great. I was like, thanks, bud. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just in character hell now, I guess. I want to play a himbo paladin. I also had a had a I had a like catch up phone call with Octo, which was really nice. And we were again talking about characters, and he was like, "Just be a himbo, just be a himbo." It's the it's the because he was saying that he's not in any games right now, and I was like, "Oh, is it like kind of nice to take a break, or are you wishing that you were in a game?" And he was like, "I just I just always need to be playing a himbo in something." <laughs> It's his fave. Time to pull a summer and join all the campaigns. Look, here's the problem. So when, um, I can't remember if I've told you guys this or not. When goblins was, was being put together, when they were making goblins, I was like, put me in, put me in coach. Let me be in goblins. And Brett was like, I don't know that it's gonna, with your schedule, I don't know that that's gonna work because you have like a strict, like you have to go to bed by this time and you have to wake up 
by this time because of your kid. He was like, I just don't know if it's going to time out right for you to be with, for you to like be in a campaign with all of them with like when they need to be playing the game. And I was like, that's fair. And that's basically been the issue. I, I, there are so many campaigns that I've almost been in. And then once, uh, once it's set up, like, when should we do this? It's always, Dodger, could you be in a show at 3 a.m.? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I can't. So I've had to step down from, oh gosh. In the last few months, I've stepped down from, I think, three different games that I had said, like, yeah, I want to be in that. And then I have to be like, never mind. <laughs> so... What can you do? Are you famous because of D&D? &D? No. But I do fucking love some D&D. &D. It's kind of a bummer. It is. Yeah. So I can't I can't pull a summer as much as I would love to. I can't be like put me in everything because most of the games that I want to be part of operate on America times. So. It is what it is. It's okay. <laughs> Have you thought about moving to the US? Yeah. Be like Sam this isn't working for me <laughs> this isn't working out um callous row is at 3 a.m all of these D, D campaigns are like after midnight so i think we need to just move back to the united states <laughs> Six PM California time is bad. Yes, add eight hours to that. That is the time zone difference. So add eight hours. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. So two AM is six PM. No thanks. And then it's not like it's not like those shows are, you know, half an hour. It's anywhere between three and four hours. So two, three, four, five, six a.m. I would basically be ending and then I would have an hour to just chill by myself and then my kid would wake up. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, when I would do Callus Row, I would try to do a thing where, like, Clark would go to bed, and then I would also go to bed at the same time as her. And it didn't always work because, you know, your brain doesn't want to go to bed at a certain time six days of the week, and then a totally different fucking time one day of the week. <laughs> so going to bed at, like, between 11 and 12 most nights, and then one night a week being like it's 8 p.m time to sleep <laughs> time for beddy bye it doesn't it doesn't always work so do you miss playing D, D around a table with people yes that's why i'm still trying to put together a group here but oh yeah it's renamed neon divide At this point, it's fair if all of your friends move to UK. Yeah, there we go. What happened to the family D&D &D game? We keep running into walls. One person is about to pop out a child. Um, one person is like too overloaded with work and can't do it anymore. Um, 
So we're like looking for another person. And at the same time, we're kind of like, I mean, we should probably just wait anyway because a baby is about to happen. And so it is a Disco Elysium bag. Good spotting. No, I would never stream Family d and I stream enough as it is. Hi. Oh, my goodness, really? Oh, that's big feelings. I love your Zoomy fur baby. Me too, she's cute. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> That's another good stream tip. Keep something for yourself off stream. Absolutely. The way that, that stuff is built. If you have the right brain for it, you can justify streaming absolutely everything. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Treat it like a job. Decide this is when I stream and this is when I'm not streaming and have like a life that is separate from streaming because it's too easy to let it just creep into every aspect of your life. <laughs> but for, for brain health, you can't do that. Slots of bro, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you very much. I'm putting stamps on 500 Christmas cards. I mean, that's not something that's going to affect my entire life. So yeah, I'm fine with that. Which, yeah, by the way, uh, if you're a sub, I'm sending out holiday cards this year. I mean, it's not that bad. 500, that's not that bad. When you think of like, a hundred is just 10 groups of 10, you know? So a hundred ain't bad. So just do that five times. That ain't bad, that ain't too bad. Point is it bad? I would not do more than 500. <laughs> but 500 seems um, doable. I don't think that's how that works. Why not? I'm already going to be doing more than 500 because I'm also going to be sending cards to friends and family, so... housing that's exactly how that works cheers <laughs> is there anything we have to do besides be a sub to receive a holiday card um you just fill out the form that's on our discord so if you go to our discord and your twitch is connected to your discord when you're a sub, it'll recognize that. You'll have access to the sub-only channels, and one of them is called Holiday Cards.
So yeah, if you'd like to do that. There's still spaces available. I love filling out forms. Great. Have I got good news for you. <laughs> If you are a sub, you count. Yeah, read the form carefully. Make sure that you are writing down everything that we need for your address. recommend a game you can do it with channel points because I will not remember things that are in chat I'm not sure I'm comfortable giving up my address that's totally fair this is this is entirely if you feel comfortable giving us that info we have a privacy policy that we also link to on the form um, but yeah if, if that's not something you're comfy with, that's totally fair. Thank you for continuing your gift sub, Mr. No. Yeah, that's totally fair. No worries at all. to fill in a phone number that starts with plus three one what oh oh you're saying like your phone number starts with that oh i see i have no idea <laughs> surely surely you can put in whatever phone number you need to How odd. Um, Airworthy, you have to be subscribed in order to see the channel. You have to be subscribed and have your Twitch linked up to the Discord in order to see the channel. just gifted you a sub. There you go. Thank you, Avi. That's very sweet. I'm trying to set up a remote D&D &D game for friends none of us have played before. Where should I start? Oh, like like while you're all separate? Um, <clears throat> so the two, like, play D&D &D online um, sort of sites that are used a lot are Roll20 and Foundry. So I would say pick one of those and, like, kind of learn how to use it. if you're the dm pick one of those and sort of learn how to use it um and then there are also lots of um really short compact campaigns that you can find um i think the one that i did for sam's family was called wild sheep chase or something like that 
uh, that literally tells you like, this is the campaign, this is what happens in it. If your players do this, then this happens. You know, here are the enemies, here are their stats. Like it literally gives you everything that you need um, and you can expand on it as much as you want. Um, and uh, that makes it a lot easier if you're like a first time DM, so. There's also lots of really good videos. Um, Mark Hulms has a video and Joe Cat has a bunch of videos, but there are a bunch of videos online that are like, like baby's guide to the basics of D&D, &D, you know? Mark Hulms is great. I'm gonna be in one of his games. I'm very excited. Of Sam's taking notes emote, me too. I know, I'm very excited to be in a new campaign, but stuff keeps like getting delayed a little bit, so we'll see. What's the campaign about? Uh, I don't know. I just know what my character is, but I don't know if I should talk about it because I'm using one of his like homebrew classes, so. I've never done D&D, &D. it seems daunting to get into. Um, I mean like, <clears throat> do you watch any D&D &D shows? Honestly, like I think if, if you've watched, I don't know about Critical Role because I I don't watch Critical Role. But um, if you've ever watched like Dimension Twenty stuff or um, any of, I guess any of the campaigns that like I've ever been in where it shows all the information and stuff, you through watching it you get a vibe for like how it's played. I think. So instead of, um, you know, instead of going into it being like, I don't really know how this is played at all. I guess I'll read the books. <laughs> um, if, <clears throat> if you watch a show, like a D and D actual play show, I think that it gives you kind of like the base of, okay, I, I think I understand like when things are rolled, how they're rolled, why, you know, the pacing of the game and that sort of stuff. And that way, when you go to start reading about it or even watch like supplementary videos about the basics, things will click into place a bit easier. You'll be like, oh, right. Cause when they, you know, <clears throat> when they're asked to do a saving throw, that's what this is talking about. And that's where that is on the character sheet and blah, blah, blah. A lot of, a lot of campaigns, I feel like, will have at least one new person. So like misdemeanor, Gerard was like an absolute baby, baby player. Um, and so uh, I think like the first couple episodes of misdemeanor was a lot of like explaining how stuff works. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but also the first session of Altered Ballad happened and people said that the like tutorial episode for Altered Ballad to like teach them how to play was really nicely done.
Totally. Yeah, I think there's lots of ways to learn how D&D works and to get into playing it and all that, so. Yeah, she's got a couple of spots that she sort of compulsively licks. So, she's got some fur missing. There's a little patch right here. There's a patch on her back leg. Sweet girl. Not my foot, no! I don't like it. <laughs> You tried crab game? No, but I did see, um, I saw Kraken playing it. <laughs> My two year old likes your kitty and copied your laugh. Aww. back though she goes over there and i'm like yay and then she's like i'm bored and wants to rub her head against the microphone always always the microphone why why whatever they want. <sighs> did you go see the house again? Yes, we did. Well, I went with uh, my mother-in-law. Did y'all see the pop figure of a mimic? No. I wore my cat gang shirt over the weekend and I got a ton of compliments. Nice. Did the magic disappear? Do you still find it nice? I mean, it's still a gorgeous house. It's like making a mental pro con list for the amount of money that they're asking for it so <laughs> i have a player who will shoot every chest with a crossbow before approaching it amazing <laughs> this microphone doesn't have enough cat hair I mean, considering a cat just rubbed up against it. Ugh. <laughs> 
A friend of mine discovered a chair mimic by getting bit in the butt. I think it was like the second session that I was on Godforged. Um, there was a mimic bridge. <laughs> the second that we walked on a bridge, it was a mimic. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> is there any particular class you would never really want to play a particular class I would never want to play no not necessarily there are, like honestly the classes that I keep talking about playing are because I've either never played them or I've rarely played them That's why I keep being like, oh, I really want to be a cleric or I want to be a a, um, a bard or, you know, like all of these classes that I've never tried before. But there isn't really a class that I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> Oh, she's playing with a Bulma prop. A shed made of mimics? Like each wall is a mimic or? Yeah, that's how I'm starting to feel as well, is like, there's no class that's like, straightforward, you know? Um, there's ways through subclasses, there's ways to make all classes like, geared more toward what you find interesting to play, I think, which is cool. Yeah, Clarky's at school. Mm-hmm, that's what I just said. <laughs> I mean, is there really like a, like an actual monster tamer class? Like there's druids and rangers, right? But like a class that, I guess druids use a lot of like pet summons. You know how I was like, I went to pick up our duvets and when I got home I realized that like our main duvet was not there. I just got a text from them being like, hey, your duvet is still here. <laughs> it's like, I know. <laughs> but at least they found it. That's what matters. <clears throat> Watson. I don't like that.
<laughs> Having a pet mimic who's a chest that slowly gets more ornate as it eats treasure would be awesome. It can be your night watch, and if a bandit tries to steal the chest, then bye bye bandit. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Donde esta Sherlock? Sherlock! We'll see if he shows up. There he is. Hey, buddy. when I called you. Well done. <laughs> A fur brick. Yeah. He's big. He thick. Neither of my cats can hold their liquor. <laughs> He's like 11. 11, 12-ish. He's my, my sweet toothless boy. He wants to play, so I'm like, maybe you should play with Watson. She's literally just chilling over there. What do you think? Okay. Come on, then. There we go. 
There we go. I befriended a black cat that has to be Sherlock sized. Dude has already taken the guest bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, he's always done that. He's always done like little little smooch headbutts. It's very cute. I'm blocking the cat show. Sorry. Yep. Yep, I brought them to England with me. They are international cats. He ignored me. That's okay. I know. Absolute denial. The cat's gotten used to colder weather. They have seemed perfectly happy here. Um, happier than they were in Los Angeles, for sure. Um, I mean, I wasn't on the plane with them. They were shipped in, in crates on a plane, so I was not with them. Um, but I thought they were going to be really freaked out when they got here, and they were honestly so chill. Like, I'm sure they were freaked out, and I'm sure that they had a really scary time of it. But, um, like, they got to our house and we put them in a room with like everything that they needed and I was like they're probably going to hide in there for a couple of days and they were just like they were totally fine they, they were so chill it was really bizarre no they were not given sedatives they will not well I'm sure some people do but you do not sedate even animals even lightly if they're going on a plane It's very dangerous for them. And that's what matters. I love that our bearded dragon had to have a crate larger than the cat crates. Amazing. That's true. Their names also fit where we live. Here it is. They're playing now. You can't see it, but trust me. I saw a cat in the thumbnail. You came to the you came to the right place. better I think that it I think it's getting a lot better because I feel her foot every day when I treat it and it feels like like there's still like a really solid you know lump in there but the area around it is getting softer and I'm gonna take that as a really good sign so do your cats ever want to go outside if so how do you deal with that <clears throat> 
We let Sherlock, Watson doesn't really care to, I think because she's gotten lost before. So Watson generally just stays inside. Um, Sherlock will go into the backyard with the chickens occasionally. Uh, all of that is is like netted off. So um, we've had no issues with him going anywhere other than just that small area of the backyard. And then eventually we hear him at the door going, Meh! and we let him in and that's it. <laughs> so he goes outside for maybe like, five minutes every day and hangs out with the chickens and then comes inside. <laughs> My dog when I adopted and needed a crate. He's 40 pounds, so he's the smallest thing that needs a large sized crate, but the store only had medium and extra, extra large. So his crate is the size of half of my couch. It's lucky I love him. <laughs> ah, the things we do for pets. I'm afraid to let my one-year-old cat go outside in the garden, but he wants to. What do you suggest? I don't really want to give any advice on that. I'm, I am not the right person to ask for advice on like letting cats go outside or not. Um, I just know that my cats aren't going anywhere uh, when they go outside, but I don't know your situation and I don't know your cat, so. Some cats do well on leashes. You can get cats used to leashes so they can go on walks like, like dogs do. Yeah, the, the only reason that we let them outside at the old place was because there were really high um, fences and we didn't have an issue. Um, Watson at one point, like I said, she went missing one time. Watson at one point got out of the house when I didn't even let her out of the house. I have no idea how she got out. She was lost for like the better part of a day. And then the neighbor was like, my dogs are going crazy. I think your cat is here. Um, and she was. So that was sorted quickly, thank goodness. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh my God, what is up with that dude? There have been fireworks happening for four straight days. Firework night, it was before firework night. It's been after firework night. It's done. <clears throat> Diwali too. Oh, I don't know anything about that. It's, man, it's just been like constant for the last week. It'll carry on for another week. 
cool. <laughs> Look, I think fireworks are very pretty. Um, I understand the appeal of big fireworks. Fireworks like that you can buy to do at your house, I have no affinity toward. Sparklers, sure, sparklers are fun. Um, but like the, the sort of smaller fireworks that you can get for home use, I don't see the appeal of those. Yeah, the issue is that they're loud, right? Well, we've talked about this before. Like, I don't understand. I'm not, I, I ain't no scientist, but I don't understand why we can't make fireworks that don't make loud noises and don't create a bunch of fucking waste that rains down all over the place. light shows are becoming. Hmm. Yeah, the appeal of fireworks for me definitely has nothing to do with the noise. <laughs> yeah, whatever the dog shelter simulator is called, that's what I'm playing today. Did a, who did a stinky poop? Who was it? <laughs> Me? Was it... I just, oh my god, that smells awful. Hold on, I'm actually gonna go scoop that right now because that smells so atrocious. <laughs> um, go grab a drink, go pee, do the whole, we'll just do a, a full break.
Hello! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the wait. It was, it was a stinky situation, but we got there, everybody. We peed, we pooped, they pooped, we dealt with all the poop in the house. <laughs> all the poops are gone. Wonderful. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> so there you go. Let's... Move on to the game, because I want to. I want to play this game. Um, I assume there's probably no warnings for Dog Shelter Simulator, but I could be wrong. What's the actual name of this game? To the rescue! Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, maybe potential, like, if the animals get hurt in the game. Like, hurt, hurt animals. Uh, sure. Okay. To the rescue warnings. Potential depictions of hurt or sick animals. Animal cruelty? I would be really shocked if, like, animal cruelty was depicted in this game. But maybe... What kind of stream we're talking about animal cruelty? I'm about to play a game called To the Rescue Dog Shelter Simulator. And we were trying to figure out warnings. And people were saying, like, there could be... Oh, there is a euthanasia mechanic that you can opt out of. We will do that. <laughs> we will opt out of that. What? Ugh. Yeah. No, thank you. Um, I mean, I doubt that it's, like, you doing it. I don't know. In this game, you are in charge of running a dog shelter. As part of making this an earnest, thoughtful experience, there are gameplay elements featuring some of the harsher realities. Okay. Animal injury, illness, and euthanasia. You can opt out of euthanasia and have it replaced with a send-away feature. Hmm. There are still occasional mentions of euthanasia in other game text. Okay. Then we should definitely put that on the warnings. Hey, that's nice that they put this, though. Game is still loud. Is that better? Mini games. 
spread rate. Oh goodness, oh goodness, I'm already scared. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> This is loud? Oh my gosh, I have the game like set so low. Hold on. Oh yeah, that is really loud in comparison to other stuff. Okay, hold on. Is that okay? I was gonna say, it seems the same, doesn't it? That's different for sure. character Sure Choose your companion Oh my goodness <laughs> Yes Oh there's so many good dogs Okay, hold on. I didn't realize there would be so many options. This, and I'm gonna name it my dog before he passed away, Jake. <clears throat> Had a Border Collie Blue Healer mix. And he looked just like that. No cats, it's a dog shelter simulator. So yeah, no cats. <laughs> Jake, it's starting to actually look like home, but there's still so many boxes to unpack. We don't want you working too hard, though. I agree, Jake. Yawning Falls seems like a pretty great community so far. I haven't been here since I adopted you while I was driving through a few years ago. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that the area hasn't changed much. Well, I guess we should get back to unpacking. I already played unpacking. You know what? You're right. We do deserve a break. Maybe I'll just sit down on the couch, prop up my feet. <gasps> a pupper? Hey. Do you see that, Jake? It's a dog. I wonder if they're lost, poor thing. We can't just leave them out there, can we? Let's at least bring them inside and see if we can help. Leash mode allows you to handle dogs. It can be activated by holding left shift or toggling with caps lock. Activating leash mode near a dog will cause an interaction pointer to appear. Interact to put the lost dog on leash. All right, cutie, let's give you a look. No collar. You're cute, but I'm not sure I can handle another dog right now. Sunny Paws shelter is close by though. I really can't keep you. Sunny Paws is good, I promise. Let's take you over there and see if they can help us find your owner. <clears throat> I 
As a reminder, please don't tell me how to play the game. Don't backseat, don't spoil. Hey, come on. All right, cutie, this is where I got Jake. I know they'll keep, they'll help find your owner and take care of you in the meantime. Plus my friend Quinn works here. Let's go inside. <clears throat> I like that I'm already wearing an apron. Hey, booger butt. Hello there, what's your story? I found them outside my house. I figured you might be able to help take them or help me find their owner. I wish we could help, but... But what, Quinn? We're completely out of room. <clears throat> oh no, are you sure? I'm sorry, we just can't take them. When we're out of room, there's nothing we can do except keep taking care of the ones we have and hope for adoptions. Sunny Paws is privately managed. They can't, they can limit how many dogs they take in. There's another shelter a few towns over I can call. They're open admission, so they'll take them for sure. But they also have a pretty high rate of dogs that they put to sleep rather than let suffer or live on the streets. Is there any reason I can't just take care of them? Not like an adoption, but like build my own kennel or something? I suppose not. I mean, we don't have a normal foster network set up for anything like that, but I'm certainly not going to stop you. I'll even help you set up your, something in your garage if you want. If you can wait until after I get off work, that is. That sounds great. I'm sure they won't mind hanging out on my couch in the meantime. Then I'll be there. I can't help much with supplies. We really don't have any to spare. I'll pick some up on the way home. All right then, I'll get back to work. See you later. Okay, bye. I thought the birds were bugs. <laughs> it's not pretty, but I think it'll work. I see you got some food that should suit your guests just fine. As well as a way to provide them water. I suppose my work here is done. Thanks so much for your help, especially after a long day at work. Well, we had to make sure that this pup was taken care of, didn't we? That's why I have this as my job, after all. If I didn't love it, I would probably do something less stinky. Anyways, I'll see you later. I'll be sure to call if anyone comes looking for this little one. Great. Let's get you settled. Dogs need to stay in a kennel to eat, drink, and sleep. To move a dog to a kennel, approach the kennel with leash mode activated and a dog on leash. When the interaction pointer is pointing at the dog, you want to put in the kennel, press left mouse button. I'm going to need to give you a name for now. Let's go with lightning, because you're so fast. I'm glad you like it. Now, let's have a good look at you. The more I know, the easier it will be to take care of you. Every dog is unique. Toggle folder mode with F, approach the dog, the interaction pointer will appear. Okay. Puppy with high energy. <sighs> okay, oops. Looks like you're just a puppy, some kind of retriever, and you're probably hungry and thirsty. Each dog has a preferred food type shown on their folder. Feeding the dog their preferred type will slow how quickly their kennel gets dirty. Water can be provided using a bucket, which must be filled at the sink. Oops. All done. Tomorrow we'll start looking for your owner. Hang in there, little one. I played the demo of this and I remember hating the UI. I hope they fixed it. We'll see. Good morning, Jake. You seem pretty cozy. I'm gonna check on our friend. Hey, Bubba. Morning, Lightning. I'm going to put up some posters so we can find your owner. Jake will watch you while I'm gone. Okay. This dog has no food or water. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're just leaving. This seems like a good spot. 
Perfect. I thought I put two of them on top of each other. My work here is done. <sighs> Five more stops and then I can head home. I guess now all we can do is what? What? Hello? Doogerbutt. Hi, it's Quinn. I'm glad I got a hold of you. You still have that stray you found, right? Yeah, why? I think I found the owner. They came to the shelter earlier. Apparently they saw one of the posters you put up at the park, but you weren't home. So they tried Sunny Paws. They left their contact info. I'll put you in touch. I guess I'm glad you found them, but this little cutie has really grown on me. There's actually another reason I called. It would give you lots more chances to make new little friends, like that sweetie you've been looking after. I'm not sure if you could tell, but Sunny Paws is extremely understaffed. The boss has finally cleared us to get some more help, so that we actually have a chance at finding homes for these dogs. I was thinking, you really seem like the right kind of person for the job. Do you want to come help us out? I suppose. I guess so. Hey, Quinn. Hello, Quinn. Booger butt, you made it. Great timing, too. Just about everything is taken care of. I have some time to show you around. Follow me. I have no control over anything. <laughs> oh, it's Jake. That's my dog. First and foremost, we have the holding kennel. New dogs that arrive will be kept here until we can place them in their own kennel. It's good to find space for them as soon as possible so they have access to food and water. Sugar, foobar, diesel. Okay. Here's Chateau de Doggo, also known as the kennel room. As you can see, we try to make the dogs as comfortable as we can. Some dogs are in their own kennels. Others have no problem staying together. As you get to know the dog's personalities and needs, you start to learn who gets along with who. Now that I think about it, we can probably make some room by moving Ringo. Into the kennel with diesel. They both prefer green bison food, and they don't have any traits that may cause fights or other problems if they're together. Why don't you try moving Ringo? Uh... Did it. Crushed it. Great work! You clearly have experience handling dogs! Now, let's move on to the supply room. Sure. This is where we keep most of the shelter supplies. Here's the food. We keep four different kinds. Dogs have different nutritional needs and preferences, which you can find in their folder. Any food type will meet a dog's hunger needs. However, giving them the wrong type might upset their tummies. Be careful. Some types of food are also more expensive than others. Be sure to keep these things in mind when giving food to a dog. This is the tool rack. There are a few things here that you might need. The pooper scooper. When dogs make messes, someone's got to clean it up. That's you. Scrub brush, which is used to bathe dogs. Dogs get dirty really fast if their kennels have messes in them. Be sure to keep kennels clean with the scooper as much as you can and bathe dogs as needed. The most important tool is the bucket to fill with water at the sink and used to fill up water dishes in the kennels. Here's the sink that we use for drinking water. And here's the bathtub. To bathe dogs, simply move a dog into the bath and interact with them using the brush. Once the bath starts, you can either let it run while you perform other tasks or stick around and scrub to help it finish faster. How about you give it a try? Oh, Peanut, stinky! Peanut, they're far overdue for a bath. You got it, boss. Peanut, you stinky child. Come. Let's take a bath. What? Oh. Squeaky clean. What a cutie patootie. I'll go ahead and take them back for you. Thanks. <laughs> I would hate to play this game. Now that we've got Peanut squared away, let's continue the tour.
Here's our outdoor play space. We take dogs out here to give them enrichment when we have time, that is. While dogs are out here, we don't give them food or water, but we can play with them to raise their spirits. Playing with dogs out here will give them a temporary happiness boost. Adopters love seeing dogs that are happy and calm. Playing with dogs is a great way to help fill in some of the other gaps in care by making them more adoptable for a longer period of time. You can try using a toy on a dog in the play space later if you want. But for now, let's move on to the computer to learn about admin tasks. No, I'm so bad at games like this, dude. I'm like, sure, it's like cooking mama. I can put dogs in the bath and then feed them and then put more dogs in the bath and then feed them and get people to adopt them. I can do that. And now it's gonna be like, here we go. Here's the true job. As a worker here at Sunny Paws, sometimes you have to do more than just take care of dogs. You have to make sure the shelter is well supplied and managed. Fuck. <laughs> First up, the dog log including ones that have been adopted or sent off. Let's pop on over to the shop. Welcome to Roberta's Pet Emporium. You might be thinking, and to that, all I can say is regardless, what? What? What do you mean? Regar what? <laughs> what happened? Regardless, she provides all four types of dog food at reasonable prices and the food will be delivered right away. What happened there with the text? It's great to have such an easy way to resupply. Make sure you keep an eye on our funds. If we go too far into debt, the shelter could get shut down. Hopefully you won't have to worry about that too much. For now, try to not go into depth at all. Depth? Try not to go into depth about anything until you're more experienced with managing it. Next on tour is probably the most important part of the whole shelter, the show kennels. All right, let's go. Let's see all these cute bitches. You may be thinking, but don't. <laughs> Here they are. The show kennels are where the magic happens. And by the magic, I mean adoptions. When people come to the shelter looking for a dog, they will only look at dogs that you show here. They only have so much time after all, and it's your job to find dogs they might like. What great timing! A potential adopter has arrived. Let's go greet them and they'll tell us what they're looking for. I'll follow your lead! Oh, Lord. All right. Hello, ma'am. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello! How can I help you today? I'm looking for a small dog. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty. Why don't I get to control my character? The adopter is looking for a small dog. I think we have multiple dogs that fit that description. Bella, Gus, I think there's at least one more I can't remember. Let's go find them and bring them to the show kennels. We should make sure to grab the three small dogs. We can show the adopter up to five. Let's pick two other great dogs to show them. I'll leave it up to you. Look at the traits of the dogs, including their size by viewing their folder. You've decided what dogs to show the adopter, bring them to the show kennels. Yep, got it. You can use ribbons on the dog's kennels as a shortcut. Using ribbons will transport the dog straight to the show kennel and can also be used to transport them back again. If you haven't pulled them out with a leash, how does it work? Beat me, but it sure is convenient. The game doesn't want me to play. All we have to do is tell the adopter we're ready and they'll look at the dogs and individually rate them and we cross our fingers and hope for the best. Ready? Ready. I'm 100% taking these. Fuck all that fiddly shit. I can't, why can't, oh, maybe I have to go around this way. Oh no. The dogs look ready, let's show them off. Wait, I can't adjust it? Tell the adopter that we're ready. Wait. Do you count as a small dog? Yeah. Why did you say there were only three small dogs? Is it because some of these are puppies? No. Very adoptable, very adoptable. Pretty adoptable. 
Very adoptable. Pretty adoptable. I'll take it. Oops. Sure, we'll put those back. No, I'm done. Yes! Go look at some dogs. I know, there's more than three small dogs. Yeah. They want a small, jumpy dog? Okay. Ooh! Bella, it might be you, baby! Okay. You know, I really love Bella. Can you get them ready for me to take home? Yes. There you go. Uh, how do I get them ready for... Ha um... <laughs> now the game gives me too much choice! Now the game gives me too much! Now it's too much! Wow, I sure would love- oh my god. I sure would love to get Bella to her new family. Quinn! Hey! 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 I literally can't. They won't let me leave. I can't do anything here. Quinn, please. <laughs> Quinn, I'm sorry that I said that you were like all up in my business and telling me too much shit. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Well. Report a bug, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. I swear to God. <laughs> and that's dog... Dog, dog shelter simulator. <laughs> and that's dog shelter simulator. It's really good. Yeah, that's a good idea. What if I, what if I go to the menu and then try to play the game without doing the tutorial? That's a great idea. Let's see what that, let's see what that does. No tutorial, please. Story. See what happens here. Okay. This bug came up a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Skipping the toots. Let's go. I guess we're just starting from zero. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Not bad, huh? Your very own shelter. It's not quite ready yet. Oh my god. Okay. There's just one more thing to do. Will you do the honors? 
<laughs> Could be cats. <laughs> Perfect, she says. Um, I like that I can't see the bubble. <laughs> this is so buggy. I can't see this beach bubble and it won't let me move it up at all. I can't move up. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Yep, it's really good. I'm very excited. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my god. Let me play! Even if I fuck up and get confused, it'll be my fault. Just let me play the game, please. I'm begging. I said I didn't want a tutorial. Okay. Shelter construction menu. This is something I did not know. Here you will be able to build and place new kennels. Okay. Expand the rooms at the shelter, purchase land for more space, decorate, etc. Why does it keep... Okay, so this keeps happening where I click to progress the talking and it just slams through like four bubbles when I only clicked one. <laughs> Why is that happening? the item on the blueprint. Uh, check, check, check out. And then demolish it? Is that what it's... What? Here's a summary, but now there's some new tools. Okay. Milestones, sure. Okay. No, there's no controller connected. And again, I can't see the bubble. Oh my god. And I can't, I also can't see, I don't know if this is, maybe it's on purpose, but. Check out. Okay. Now we exit. Confirm. Okay, great. Come on, Bubba. for a one-of-a-kind mystery supply box. Sure. There's nothing, it's empty. Okay. Thanks, game. Marty. Okay. 
Let's get everybody some food and water. Oops, no. It's medical zone. food preference. Green. Red. 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 Blue. Okay. Why can't, why? What? Whatever. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. What's your vibe? Oops. There's a visitor waiting. They're just gonna have to suck it up, Buttercup. Cause I'm feeding my dogs. Okay, what's up? My dog ran away. I was wondering if someone might've brought them here. Large retriever, peaceful. Do any of the dogs here match that description? Large, peaceful retriever, is it you? Large, peaceful retriever. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I... I found... I think... Yeah, it, this is it. Do I have to fill up all of the boxes? Surely not. Hmm. Maybe I have to just like actually bring him to them. my dog <laughs> great thanks for helping me find them here's a donation come on buddy let's get you home yay tight what do you mean no dog in focus oh great they like the red food that's good things on the side mean? Confirm. Marty gained a new trait, playful. Okay. New dog has arrived and is in need of a good home. Xena is waiting in the holding kennel. Not anymore though, right? I already... Right, but I've already done this stuff. You're so cute. I'm gonna die. Did 
What's your vibe? There's poops in there! I like that I can just leave tools lying around. Hello? My dog ran away recently. I thought someone might... Puppy, terrier, quiet. Yep. Oops. What? Go away. This is my dog. Thanks for helping me find them. Here's a donation. Yeah! One filthy dog. Time for a bath. <gasps> Stinky Xena. Come on, goofball. said you could just leave them and they would slowly like get cleaner but I don't know if I trust that come on goofroom Bigfoot why do you drink so much water homie Come on, Bailey. Okay, you actually like, you prefer blue food. dogs no uh yep why is there no how come i can't trash all these I can't, where's the rubbish bin for me to trash those? menu they showed like five different songs where where are they oh uh, okay 
Okay. What's the food that you liked? Blue food. No. Lost to overtime? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm not gonna leave all these dogs with poopy. With poopy. My god, I couldn't even see that poopy. That's not fair. Okay, I get it. I'm leaving. Jesus. Clock out. Confirm. Goodness. Hell yeah. Did Toto and Gucci get adopted, really? Or did they just get found? <laughs> yeah, Jakey's my boy. He's my good boy. Skill points? Currently unavailable, it says. Okay, sorry. One second. <laughs> One sec, I know that we took a break not that long ago. Just give me a minute. Bah, 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 bah. This game is weird. What a weird game. Like, look, I know it's a game. It doesn't have to, but like, when you start up the game, they're like, we wanted to make sure that this is like, I don't remember the word that they used. But, like, we'll be involving some, you know, sad elements of the dog shelter business. If it's a dog shelter simulator and you're not having to, like, I guess the donations are meant to simulate, like, adoption costs and stuff. People are literally walking in and being like, 
Yeah, I lost a dog. It was a really kind, sweet, big dog. Can you bring me a kind, sweet, big dog? And then you're like, sure, buddy, here. And they're like, that's my dog. Bye. <laughs> Wow, yep, that's them. Oh cool, what's their name? Uh Rocky. <laughs> oh fuck. Personality traits, nothing head empty. <laughs> game bugs out here again. Ooh, she likes Marty. I really love Marty. Can you get them ready for me to take them home? Let's get you home. Thanks for the help. Well, that was easy, I guess. <laughs> you don't have to sign any paper. I don't have to do a house check or... Bye, Marty. <laughs> Looking for a dog. I guess I'll leave these other ones there. Sure am. We sure got some dogs here. <laughs> None of them are cats in dog suits, I swear. That's fair, the door did say cats. I kind of hosered myself. We'll see. Nope, I don't think we've got what you're looking for, bud. Despite the fact that your only criteria was dog. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm ready for a dog. Maybe next time. Fair enough. I'm looking for a dog. <laughs> 
Nice. Two, three, six, seven, Adaptability, isn't it? What? Why can't I? Why can't I get the poops? Why can't I get the poops? I guess we're like really focused on this right now. Okay. Yep. Go look at some dogs, please. Goodness gracious. I guess people are more important than poops. How hard is it going to be? I guess you can't pick up the poops when the dogs are gone, which seems uh, counterintuitive, but whatever. And then only a twofer. I don't know if- I don't think you're ready for a dog. You ain't ready. I don't think I'm ready for a dog. Same. I also don't think you're ready for a dog. Hold on. Bailey. Let's take you outside. What? What, I can't... I can't just release you? Okay, there we go. Have fun. people waiting in here <clears throat> a dog that's social oops protective quiet jumpy hey Bubba Zena isn't feeling well. They have worms. You should treat it quickly and keep them away from other dogs. Oh no, Zena! Oh, she looks sad. Pumper, two neglected dogs. What do you mean? Oh, I guess I have to take them in here. Sorry, Papa. Who else is sick? Oh, man. Y'all are just gonna have to deal. I got sick dogs up in this bitch. that's good with cats my dogs are so sad I don't want to do this anymore okay hold on everybody how the fuck are you supposed to do this Like, how are you supposed to take care of the dogs and see to all of the people that are coming in? Because this is crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's like day two for me, dude. And now my rep's gonna go down. We know that. Oh my god, and there's like a bunch of fucking dogs. Okay, come on. Come 
Come on, chomper. Yeah, I bet there's hungry and thirsty dogs. I bet there are. God, why are there so many people in here? I wish. I wish to quit. <laughs> I want to quit. I'm not cut out for this job. Thank you. That's social. Okay, let's see. Playful, protective, quiet, puppy, puppy, puppy. Low energy puppy. <laughs> okay. <coughs> what kind of food do you like? Green, blue, yellow. pick them up oh my god this game is a nightmare no Pablo stinky No, none of you like this food. I'm just trying to keep you alive. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. This game is stressful, dude. drink in there so <clears throat> what I already gave them shots right so trying to feed you.
<clears throat> I I don't understand. Like, I already took this dog in here and treated them, right? Or n not? It's that, it's that green symbol, so I assume that's the right medicine. It won't let me use it on her. So. worms right but then but why would it give me okay why does it show a specific symbol if that's not the symbol of what they have Clock out. <clears throat> Good. Come on, let me move, please. through, do all the poops. Okay. Great. Why wouldn't they just go in order? Makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Oh, I have no water left in the bucket, that's why. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow! Blue. All right, let's do those first.
yellow, blue, green. I think I did track theirs. <coughs> no, the bowl changes color depending on what you put in there. It would be nice, wouldn't it, if the bowls were color-coded based on like what they like to eat, but that's unfortunately not how it works. There's a doggo. Aaron Burr? Okay. All right, Aaron. What do you like? Green food. Great. All right. And now we have a day where just no one's showing up. Do people just start showing up midday? Is that how the game works? Or what? somebody comes in and is like, I want three dogs that look identical. A new dog is injured. Oh, <clears throat> I see. Oh, Pupper, come on then. Come on, Boofer. It's that easy. Anybody can run a dog shelter. <clears throat> Adoptability one. It's a shelter, so most of the like, yeah, you got money that's coming in is donations. Where's all the people from yesterday now? I know, look at all these dogs I have now. Come one, come all.
Oops. Is the music always the same? I don't think it's supposed to be, but I don't know that we've heard any different tunes. understand why wow that's really not clear at all is it <laughs> who's filthy who's stinky oh it's you Bailey come here Filthy dog. One visitor. I have another filthy dog. Where? Who? Whomst? Ah, uh, Bigfoot, of course, naturally. My stinkiest dog. What's up? I'm looking for a dog. Wonderful. I suppose this is as good a place as any. See, I thought from the tutorial <clears throat> that the implication was you don't have to be there to do the bath. Right? Like, that's how it sounded to me. You don't have to be there to do the bath, right? And yet, here we are, having to be there to do the bath. <laughs> Come on, Bailey. You're cute. closed oh my god I'm so annoyed did he leave <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore <laughs> what happened um, a guy finally showed up and I was like, cool, let me grab some dogs. And before I had time to grab all of the dogs for him to look at, the shelter closed. <laughs> this is a little frustrating to play. I feel like there's, there's like the bones of a good game here. But there's too many... Things that are like fiddly with it, along with the bugs. It's just not as fun. So we're gonna play my um, my current time waster. A blast from the past, radical dungeon sweeper. <laughs> Ooh. 
Radical Dungeon Sweeper warnings. Monsters. Oh, and religious weirdness is in this game. One of our classic tags. <clears throat> um, you can backseat or spoil this game as much as you want. Yeah! <laughs> You can backseat this game as much as you want because I've played it for years and I don't give a shit. So the mods can take a break. You guys are free to spout all kinds of garbage. Just don't be mean. You know, if you're mean, you'll still get timed out or banned. Um, so, you know, tread lightly. <laughs> it's quite radical, though. Did we give up on dog game? We sure did. Goodbye, dog game. Hello, Radical Dungeon Sweeper. I've been playing this so much again. I love this game. Um, Did I mute it inside of here? No. So I must have muted it. I must have like waited until I got into the game. Here, we'll just do a basic. All right. Who is it today? Hat Cat. Hat Cat, the hero. Yeah, I got it. So Radical Dungeon Sweeper is a... Yeah, here we go. Um, is a Minesweeper game. Um, and it's very fun. <laughs> uh, you got this little thingy. If you take too long on a board, um, eventually like a like a boss will spawn. Um, but you just play it like Minesweeper. And you level up over time. Those are marked, but I need to get there. Well, I don't necessarily need to, but I would like to. Um. So it's one of these monsters that has the... Oh, well, shit. <laughs> Yeah, this game is super fun. If you like Minesweeper and you like Dungeon Delvers, it's like, it's a great combo. There we go. That's what I needed. Monster back in the fog. I guess so. I never used that one. So yeah, you can tell literally everything that you do makes this guy go down. So if you choose to heal or like I can use this book to like gain experience, but he goes down every time I use it. Sure, let's get sassy. The SFX are loud? Okay, I'll turn them down. Let me know if that's better. Um, so basically you have this like basic ass dude um, and uh, as you play you can potentially find other classes on the board um, but uh, if you decide to play with those classes um you only get one shot. So once you die with that class, the class is boarded up again until you find it again. So this is like the character that is always available to you. Oh, this is a way better ability. Uh, 
Um, great. And then you potentially find like other good classes that you can play that are, that are a bit more interesting. Um, well, I will use that more, so. I have life point regen. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. It's not gonna go well. We'll see. It might go well. It might be fine. So now we've got this guy on the board and he's a cutie patootie. Um, but I basically only, unless I'm desperate, I only use this guy for this, for rune slots, which are these. So normally you can only open rune slots if you happen to be offered it on a on a level up, um, but you can buy them from him. So I typically only save up for rune slots. Some health or detect three items or monsters when I reach a new floor. Oh, I'll take this. Okay, so that's one. Sweeper, but it it turns the board into like a, a room of a dungeon basically so you're trying to find the exit and then use a key um, to get through the exit but there are treasure chests and monsters and all kinds of things so there's stuff that like you can do but you're generally your goal is to just keep descending I guess Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So there's like, each class operates differently. So like there's an assassin class that, I think it's the assassin class that every time you descend, you get experience for every monster that you revealed. You don't have to kill them to get experience, which is really nice. <clears throat> Shit. Because there's already one here. Ooh, that had so much value. That was great. <gasps> nope. I hit the wrong thing. That's all right, though. The rune blocks are like this game's uh, trinkets, and we all know kind of a trinket whore in games, so what are you gonna do? Like, ah! Extra abilities or passives? Nice! Yeah! More of those, please. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, big knife energy. We're gonna have so many knives this run, this is good. This was a mistake.
Okay. Just leave, just leave, just get out of there. Look at all my knives. Demon Crawl came out uh, quite a while after this game. This game's been out for a while. Um, Demon Crawl's also great. It's the same sort of idea, but op operating differently. Pushing it a bit too far. So see this person in jail? That's a class. So we'll try to get them out. 
before my my dumb boy dies. Yeah, yes please. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> the fighter. So, when we go into new game, now a door will open that allows us to play the fighter if we'd like. And so his equipment that you find is different, same with the rogue and the, like, mage. Um, so they just operate a little bit differently, and they start off, so our normie doesn't start off with any runes, like any abilities, but everybody else does. <clears throat> Gain experience equal to the level of monsters you kill. Diminish rune cooldown by 10%. Steal money from marked monsters. All right. Rip hat cat. But hello to remix beats. Oops. It has to be remix beat. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, only one beat. Thank <laughs> you. 
More detection. Fingies. best interest those eyeball things it's in your best interest to kill those before because <laughs> their eyeballs pop out and go on the board and reveal squares for you yes Yes, detection. the eyeballs. Bye. 
It's fun. a certain amount of actions each floor you can do as much stuff as you want every time you do something other than mark um a block this guy moves and if he reaches the bottom then this like monster spawns and the further you are in your run the more powerful the monster is <clears throat> misjudged where they were. Dang it. Okay, we'll just detect more stuff. That's fine. Oh, arachnophobia. about that, sorry. Take item or gold from a monster. Oh, interesting. Woo! 
Whoops. <laughs> that was silly. Make sure that Sam's awake. I'll be right back. I just knocked over my pen. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what did I knock over? Just my tablet pen, it's fine. Chad, I need dinner ideas. We don't know what's in your house. What's in your house? All right, Oz Frog Girl, let's go.
Fried rice is one of my faves. <clears throat> I never get sick of fried rice. Accident, but that's okay. It worked out. Thank you. 
Yeah. Buff. Buff. brings on all the groceries in one trip, you can tell. It's true. Start the game. music a ripoff of I have it on the tip of my tongue I just can't remember no idea
Yeah. Did this come out before Dead Cells? Oh, the music. This did come out before Dead Cells, yeah. I, yeah, I know exactly what song you're talking about in Dead Cells. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, feel free to confirm, but... Dead Cells came out first? Before this? Didn't this come out a while ago? God, maybe I'm misremembering. I think it's because I played this game before Clarky was born, so it feels like it was forever ago. Came out January 2018 and Dead Cells came out in 2017. Oh, well, there you go. <clears throat> Man, it came out in 2017. What is time? What is life? for the next three turns. That's nice. Oh man. Get out of here. Get out of here, goober. Oh, I should've used that. Oh, what are you gonna do? My kids are 11. It feels like yesterday they were babies. Yeah. Every time I look at Clark, recently when I look at Clark, I remember looking at um, Tyranny's kid, Tyranny's kid, and being like, oh my God, she's gotten so big. And I vividly remember thinking that when Clark was a baby. And now I look at Clark and I'm like, she looks the way that Tiri's kid used to look. <laughs> when I was like, wow, she's gotten so big. I'm like, and now, and now it is my kid who has gotten big. <clears throat> my sweet, dramatic child. Oh, nice. I just lost that class, so that's wonderful.
you can lose classes in this game. So, yeah. So basically the way that it works is like you've got your one like basic bitch boy that you can use as many times as you want. But each class, you have to find them in the dungeon. And when you unlock them, you can use them once. So the hope is that each time you use one of the better classes, you get far enough to, to find one of the other classes. Um, yeah, they eat your healing items. <clears throat> but, um... No! I didn't look for you. So after I play this guy, his door will shut, and I won't be able to play him until we find him. Oh, another one! We're gonna unlock two classes with this bitch. I love it. Thank you. That one's open. on every floor. I'm leaving. I have things to do and people to be. Monsters and traps can't surprise you. I do love that. That's very nice. Thank you, game.
Duty Boys? I don't think so. I miss Minesweeper so much, this looks awesome. Yeah, you should try it! Like I said, I played this game so much before I had Clarky. Um, and just recently, like, started revisiting it. But it's great. It's very fun. So people said January 2018, right? Clarky was born in April. Shit. Yeah, I remember playing this off stream a lot and I was like trying to explain it to Sam. And he was like, okay, honey. <laughs> it's like, honey, it's Minesweeper, but like not Minesweeper, you know? <laughs> okay, sure. God, why is our damage so low? <sighs> okay, I have two shields now. Three shields now. Oh my God. What a nightmare. <laughs> Okay. 
so his door is closed now. Let's be Magic Boy. We haven't been Magic Boy yet. Bag. Oh, you're not a sub. It's too late. Congrats. I was gonna say congrats, you sneaky bitch. <laughs> I feel like you would have been like, well, I'm never coming back to this stream again. <laughs> Oops. Well. Oh, right. You're giving me so many of these. I guess that's one of his like normal items. I haven't found him in a while. To be honest. the slot even though I don't need to.
Yay! Do this. I was too riveted watching the stream and burnt the toast. You were riveted watching this? That's what I like to hear. <laughs> A community carefully cultivated. Shouldn't have done that. I think. How burnt is it though? How burnt is the toast? Sometimes I burn things on purpose so that I get to eat them instead of Clark. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> one time and they were like sorry I burned the toast but it was delicious <laughs> like they said I burned I burned the potatoes and then they ate them or like I burned them but don't worry I also ate them and they were amazing <laughs> how I read it the first time. They were like, sorry, I burned them. I ate them, and I said they were delicious. Okay. See? Okay. That's how I read it at first, and then I was like, wait. The story could be one of two ways. <laughs> it's either their friend burned potatoes, but the potatoes wound up delicious, or that the actual phrase when you walked in the door was, hey, sorry, I burned the potatoes, but they were delicious. <laughs> like, don't worry, I ate them all, so you won't have to. <laughs> Shit. 
More magic. are really fucking me up, dude. Priest, I guess. Oops! Right, a name. A name! What's in a name? Avi. Ugh. There's so many altars. Delay the wraith for 20 turns. Thank you. Six magic on every visible monster. Sure, thank you. Nice. Thank you.
Really? No undead for me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> farthest floor is that I've made it to. This is a space out game for me. I don't really keep track of any of that, to be honest. Let's go. attack stuff is so intense <laughs> it's just like way too much subs <sighs> welcome to the cat gang everybody who's gifted a sub by avi if you were gifted a sub by avi or anybody else double check who it was and take the time to say thank you
Yeah, watch them when they attack. It's a lot. It's me, Crab. <sighs> well, I don't like that at all. my chair <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that but it is squeaky
Nice! Bella. I'm glad I clicked that. I almost didn't. This, that's for um, the wraith. The wraith is going to come. The wraith is going to come and he's gonna attack us. Um, sorry, bud. the jewelry. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at all that jewelry. <laughs> wow. Hot damn. Look at all that jewelry. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we did it. Nice. Doesn't say when something is undead. Like, it matters, you know? It matters for this character if something's undead or not. There 
there's no natural way to come back from that joke. Okay. <laughs> No, the race is not insta-death, but it is um, a little bit more powerful than the other stuff that is on the board at the time. So the further you get into the game, the wraith is more powerful. Marked monsters cannot strike back. Assumption there. Unfortunately, the assumption was correct. Shit. everybody.
Da. Sorry, I think I need to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> Rather heaven, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a priest. No. Everybody. I love Radical Dungeon Sweeper. It's great, isn't it? What a wonderful game. Dead creatures in this game start to be such a pain in the ass that if you can get rid of them, it's like, yes! You mean I don't have to deal with the vampire? That's so great. Wow, that's just the best. Stop regenerating!
gonna take damage no matter what, I guess. <gasps> Why do you get to attack me twice? What is that horse shit? Dukes is a pro, she'll never let my character die. Don't say that, Avi! This game gets hard. I was like, it didn't mark any monsters, but it did. Hell yeah. Here we go. This is what I am talking about. Floor 12. best thing to find, but at least it wasn't the vampire. achievement called flagellation. <laughs> okay. do your best, you know? Sometimes all you got is your best. takes 15 to go away. Let's do that. He back! The boy! Or rather, the man! No! 
Ow! That's not what I meant to do. Game. A bit rude. Hey! Stop eating my apple! I wonder if I could have used my um, charm on that after it had already popped out. Because that was like a kind of beefy creature, you know? this bitch. <laughs> the fact that they love you no matter how much you hit them makes me really sad. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, we gave up on dog shelter game pretty fast. have to go potty, but I keep walking away from this game. I'm gonna go potty really fast. Just super... back in. <gasps> I got too excited. Trucking. <sighs> Don't do this. Not like this, dude.
gonna do enough damage to you. Bobby. No way. I was gonna say, are they already home? No way. Weren't there more heal items in the shop? You can only buy one thing unless you have a special item that says you can buy more than one thing. So otherwise, uh, they, he, he vanish. Avi had a very good run. We are standing right now at my standing desk, AKA I lifted my monitor and stood up. <laughs> That's Radical Dungeon Sweeper. I love it. It's very fun. Um, let's see. have a raid leader. Let's make sure they're still alive. You had nothing to do with that run. You provided the heart and the spirit of that run. Avi. Official. Hmm. I'm attempting to make a triple layer cake for my wife's birthday. Yo. I believe. I believe in you. Okay, let's read off the activity feed. And then I'll send you over to somebody else. We also have a couple of Valentines. Um, yesterday, Projected Monkey said Amarian is doing a good job as mod reader. I agree. MX Call says, I want to say that I really appreciate the community and the streams. They have uh, been helping me through a pretty rough bout of insomnia. And the streams have helped keep the anxiety I get from being tired away. I'm very glad that you feel that way. I hope you're doing all right. Goron says, I'm throwing this out to my dad. Man, I need to move, but the new place doesn't allow pets. So otherwise, I would have had to rehome our 20-year-old cat. But without question, he just told me that the cat is coming home. Aww. And Cat Rider says, shout out to the stray calico that pops my by my porch every now and then. I got permission to put cat food for her. So hopefully I can keep the sweet girl soon, even though I can't adopt her. Aww. Lots of kitty messages. Let's see, let's see. Sloth Supra, again, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you very much. Um, Eranor, thank you for the 11. Red Orchid for the 74. Avi for the gifted sub to God Run. Uh, Duo Nico for the 14. Twin Peaks for the 14 as well. Avi also gifted a sub to Fedori. Thank you so much for that. Zico, thank you for the 71. Sepia Pilot for the 7. Johnny B for the one year. Happy anniversary. Happy one year. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, where was I? Chewbacca, thank you for the 13. Avi, thank you for gifting a sub to Airworthy. Listless Angel for the two months. Avi gifted a sub to Paisley Manatee. Thank you very much. Winged Kitsune, thank you for the five. Dr. Jazzfist for the 50. Astrosloth, the Wonder Knot, thank you for the three. Uh, Geralani for the six. Lefalini for the 55. Trashiest Babu for the two. Avery Music for the 29. MLK for the 11. Strawberry Sky for the 31. Avi gifted a sub to Mick Butterstotch. Thank you very much. Villas Farthick, thank you for the 32 months. Mr. Al for the 17. Ko Kuma for the one year. Happy anniversary. Happy one year. Ah, ah. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Uh, none pizza beef left. Thank you for the two. Sir Kibble, thank you for the 25. Carrot Skull for the 10. Vulpian Bloodline for the 18. Trashiest Babu for the gifted sub. Imthams for the 51. Grand Master Fro for the two. Evil Death for the 62. Fluid Art for the 57. Inbred Jedi for the four. Rudy Patootie for the 11. Taox for the 32. Baggy for the six. Raging Pixel for the 63. Avi, thank you for all the gifted subs. Again, when we started your run, appreciate that. PM Molu for the 18. Big Bow for the 39. David Strass for the 10. Finicini for the 37. Red Cinder for the 84. And Carl the Rave, welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much for the gifted, or not for the gifted subs, for subscribing. Appreciate it. <laughs> bros i'm here to pitch to you an idea that i think you're really gonna like oh my god my cat's outside sherlock 100 percent ran outside when sam went to go in the car and is now outside like guys <laughs> um okay well, I guess I'll go save him. Kim of Makeup is doing some painting with a really big camera on their cat. So we, we know what the people like. Uh, tonight is my 6040 meeting, so no stream tonight. Tomorrow is two different streams. We have our normal stream and our Final Fantasy 14 stream. So if you're looking for something to watch, please come by. Otherwise, I'll see you when I see you guys. Okay, bye-bye everyone. Have a good day.